Welcome, everybody, to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and attention coach, Jeff Copper. I'm here today to talk about my lived experience as it relates to um, reading and getting help. Let me explain this to you a little bit. I, I have dyslexia. Uh, when people think of dyslexia, they think of like symbols like reversing. Um, think of it more like this. If I'm reading a word and there's a B, I often will retrieve a D. It's more of a coding and encoding challenge. So can you imagine if I'm reading a sentence and there's a word boy and I retrieve the word D, it's doy. So I read, I get to the end, well, that didn't make any sense. Now I got to go back and I got to reread the sentence. Now understand the effort that my brain's having to go through to, to interpret the words in the right way um, and then try to comprehend it. So when I was growing up, I was spending so much time trying to make sense of a sentence that I struggled with reading comprehension. People with ADHD, sometimes they're reading something and they're, they're having a hard time focusing on it because it's difficult reading. And so they have a hard time with reading comprehension. Well, it's one thing to be able to read the sentence. Another thing to comprehend it. The other problem is, did you interpret it correctly? One of my pet peeves in our world is we are going to such a self-service, well, go to the website and help yourself. Well, let me just tell you something. Not all FAQ pages um, are intuitive. Not all of them are good. In fact, I've found some of them where I didn't even understand the instructions or the English. But often there's words that are never defined. So I have a hard time interpreting it and have had some issues in my my past where I had accidents or I, I made misinterpretations. The reason I'm doing this is people with ADHD um, thinking inside your head or using working memory towards a goal is difficult. And often it's helpful to collaborate with other people. Um, my own life, I was, I guess, fortunate is uh, I realized I needed help. In college, I was an athlete. I had unlimited tutors. I'm like, why am I doing this alone? I reached out for help all the time. A lot of it was getting help to make sure I got the interpretation right, or I was actually learning what was done properly. I'm sharing this because it really helped me um, in college and in life. I still do that today. And if you've got ADHD, you know, you can read something, you can kind of comprehend it, but it doesn't mean that you're interpreting it the right way. And often it's helpful to get feedback from other people in the thinking process for you understand some stuff, as opposed to just making some assumptions. It's kind of funny. I'm going to share this story because I was actually coaching a millennial recently. And there was an issue that they were um, dealing with and they were sharing with me they had fear of going to the store because they might ask questions um, and not look very intelligent. And I said, well, wait a second. <laughs> this is a millennial. No, no offense out there, millennials, but there's a lot of texting going on, not a lot of conversations. And I don't mean to generalize, but needless to say, I said, let's think about this a second. The stores have salespeople in there and they're there to educate you, to help you understand what's going on. If you went in and knew everything, they really wouldn't have a purpose. So the idea here is the person finally went to the store and asked some questions to understand what was going on for these particular products and, and get the correct interpretation. And it was like night and day. A lot of people with ADHD are reluctant to reach out and get help or ask questions in order to get the right interpretation so they make the right decision or do things well. At the end of the day, when you think about it, asking for help is a sign of maturity. And I know for me, I've been asking for help interpreting things most of my life because after all, if I'm not interpreting correctly, I'm probably going to get the wrong answer. And you know, going down a dead end is really inefficient. So I hope my personal lived experience sharing with you will help inspire you to realize is that, hey, there's real good reason out there to do. Oh, hang on. I got a funny one. I'm an attention coach, right? So this is related to interpretation. Have you ever noticed that most jokes are rooted in a play on attention? Let me give you an example. Woman walks in and asks her husband, what's on TV? He said, dust. That's when the fight started. Huh. Notice content on TV. The physical dust on the top or the Flintstones that were the content on the TV? Again, a play of attention. Who's interpreting it correctly? Need to get a little bit of clarity on that. Again, it's a joke, but my point really is, is often 
reaching out and talking through stuff with other people to help make sure you're interpreting correctly is a really good helpful ADHD strategy. So with that, we do our channel. Uh, we would love your support. If you like us, there's a thanks button down. If you could click on that and make a contribution, we would love it. Um, even if you don't, we're still going to do what we do. Uh, if you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, we send out a, something like this each week to help those with ADHD in need. And um, comments, thoughts, can you relate to what I'm talking about? Uh, have you had any experience doing it? Anyway, always love our viewers' comments. With that, we hope you enjoyed this edition of Attention Talk video. Take care.